shearing sheep, we've been mustering stock, we've been culling out roots, we've been spraying the crops, we've been droving cattle up an old stock route. Now it's Saturday night, we pile in the ute. We're the boys from the bush and we're back in town. Well, the dog's in the bag and the foot goes down. We're live members of the Outback Club. Where the boys from the bush come in from the scrub. We've been out in the heat. We've been loading the trucks. We've been fixing fences. We've been choking on dust. We curse the rain. simple setup that basically consists of the radio, the battery to charge to run the radio, the solar panel to keep the battery charged, and the antenna. But what I particularly like about this setup is the radio. That's the ICOM IC7600. A couple of main reasons why I bought the ICOM IC7600. Uh, firstly it has the screen which is very sharp and clear. And secondly, one of the other reasons is that it operates off of 12 volts, whereas a lot of radios with screens don't. But it's a very good radio. It's an excellent a radio on receipts, very good for Morse code, which, which is what I operate more than anything off. And just here is the Begali Kia, the paddle that I use. Uh, it's very comfortable to, to use, but um, what I particularly like about it though is the spring loading, the spring um, uh, tension, whereas some of the paddles nowadays have magnetic repulsion, which I'm not really keen on. And over here is the antenna direction indicator, which is homebrew, just using an external speaker box with a Selsun behind the pointer in the map. Just to the left of the speaker is the laptop computer I use on the digital modes. Um, I use the Mix W software which I really like. And behind that is a small inverter that runs off of the battery to charge the batteries in the, in the laptop. It's a pretty simple setup, but it works pretty well. And this is the battery that powers the radios. It's a pretty large one. A battery this size can power a small house. That's a 670 amp hour battery, a deep cycle type using lead acid. It's old technology, but it's pretty reliable. And it's been running here for four years, so it's doing pretty well. As long as you keep the water up to them, they're, they're pretty reliable, I think. Um, they say they should last at least 10 years. Uh, the current running from the solar panel to the battery is regulated by the charge controller. Uh, it's a handy little piece of equipment. It can tell you a lot of information. It can tell you the amount of current flowing into the battery at the moment from the panel, the amount of amp hours gone into the battery for the day, and a lot of other information. Uh, you certainly need that when you set up a solar powered station. Uh, one of the antennas in use here is um, a ground plane for the HF bands. It uses the Hustler 6BTV vertical up on a 7 metre pole with about 10 radials around the base of it. It works um, particularly well on 40 metres.
the other antenna here is a two element five band HF quad made by Cubex in the US and it's up about 10 meters it, it works pretty well even though it's up or well, not very high and um, I'm very happy with it it's been there for about two years now and we get some really strong winds around this area but um, it survived them uh, quite well, no problem so far anyway. Well I hope you've enjoyed having a look at my solar pad ham radio station. It's pretty simple but it works pretty well. So 73 for now. <laughs>